Welcome back to our robotic welding channel. Please subscribe to Abadji Robotic Welding. And here we are with Dima. Morning. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. So today we're going to learn about machine vision. Yes? Right. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. So here's our cell. Uh huh. Yes, and we are going to talk about this little guy here. This is. This is our sensor. It's a uh -huh. depth camera. Okay. Or we call it snapshot scanner sometimes. And that's how the robot can see. Yeah, right. It can it can see the whole scene with just one shot, so we call uh -huh. it snapshot scanner. Snapshot scanner, cool. Yeah. So do you want it to scan something? Yeah, let's put something on and... Mm -hmm. So this is the part. Cool. So besides seeing the part itself, we can also see fixtures and I'll show how it mm -hmm. works. Yeah, it's good. Lovely. And we can start and I'll explain how it works while it's moving. Right? Great. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're running the Abadji software. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. you've seen this interface before. So this is our uh, this is our part. Uh, we selected just one weld here, yeah. just for the, the demonstration. We're not gonna weld today, so we'll just like do a dry run. Mm -hmm. uh, is this a three D model, or is it what the monitor is seeing right now? No, this is just a three D model. So okay. on the three D model, you mark up the welds you want to make. So this is the area we are going to scan, and this is the just approximate position of the of the object. We actually don't use it, so. Uh, we are going to scan this area because the system doesn't know if there is something or not. Mm -hmm. So this is just a visualization. Yeah. Yeah. So we just uh, add it to cell, and then we start scanning. Mm -hmm. So now uh, it's planning its paths, and uh -huh. it's actually selecting the best positions for the scanner to see this part. Right. So we need some kind of a trade-off between the number of shots it takes yeah. and uh, the quality of the data we have uh, ultimately. Okay. okay. So yeah, it chooses optimal, several optimal positions. And as you see, we can move the robot and mm -hmm. we can move the positioner. So we can rotate the part using the positioner and so we I can see, move the robot. I see that red light coming from the... Yeah, yeah. Monitor, this is yeah. that's because the projector of this camera works in infrared. In infrared. Infrared. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you don't see the actual projection, mm -hmm. but you you just see a little red light that it's like projecting. Yeah. So now it is uh, scanning, and after it takes all its shots, uh, we will stitch the data all together because from one shot you can see the the scene. Mm -hmm. only from one side and we need to see the object from different sides mm -hmm. so we need to somehow, somehow stitch together uh, all the data mm. and uh, it sounds uh, easy but uh, there is a lot of things happening under the hood yeah. and uh, the next step is uh, like the the cornerstone of the whole pipeline it's the algorithm where we um, localize the object in the point cloud. Green points uh, is uh, the actual data from the scanner. Mm -hmm. And as they are green, we can say that uh, the distance from these points to the object is around zero. Great. So, and all uh, this was done um, with the computing power of your laptop? Yeah. So what's the connection? How do we get from there to here? Uh, it's just by network, so everything is connected to our, uh, what we call a badge box. Mm -hmm. uh, a badge box is a kind of a server which um, transfers the data here and there and transfers the data and comments from my laptop to the robot mm -hmm. and back and from my laptop to the camera and back. And uh, yeah, but Great. computational power is now here on my mm -hmm. laptop, and uh, you saw it happened really fast. So yeah. from the from the moment it finished scan scanning till the moment we saw the result, uh, it was like uh, a split second. Yep. 
So yeah, so step three is uh, localizing the model and step four, another important step, is uh, defining the obstacles and fixtures. Mm -hmm. So as we don't know, didn't know what was in the, in the cell uh, mm -hmm. before we started uh, the vision, mm -hmm. we need to find not only the object itself, but also all other objects, not to collide in them. Because yes. if we don't know if there is an obstacle there, so we can easily collide into it while, while we, are, we are like welding this, uh, doing these welds. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I said that for the object we need a 3D model and for the obstacles we don't need 3D model because obstacles can be, and like we call them obstacles, but they are basically clamps and fixtures, everything mm -hmm. that's used for, um, for welding. And uh, there is a huge variety of, of these objects, so we can't have a model for every uh, mm -hmm. piece. And that's why we don't use uh, a model. Uh, it uh, makes it uh, less uh, precise, uh, but it's okay. Because for the object, we need to position it really precisely because we need to weld it. But for the obstacles and fixtures, we just need not to collide yeah, into them, right? It, so, so we can expand them a little bit. So you see, this is a bit expanded compared to the real object, and that's mm -hmm. okay. Which it just makes uh, makes things safer. Mm, yeah. Uh, so yeah, now we can we can uh, see and check if everything is fine and all the points are green. So and we have our fixtures in here, so we can confirm and it's gonna work. Not weld, but dry run. Can we make it more challenging for the scanner and put in a, a bigger obstacle than just the normal clamps? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, if you don't trust it, I can put my cell phone in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even if I had the iPhone 14, uh, oh. it's not a problem. Oh. In it goes. Yeah, it works. Yeah. So, yeah. Boom. So uh, we're going to weld this seam and uh, this, the system will recognize the phone and uh, it uh, won't let us do it. Yeah. So let's try. We hope. Let's start scanning. Here's the result. That's good. Uh, ah. You see the, the yeah, phone is here. That big green lump yeah. is the representation of your phone. Yeah. So it's not going to weld. Because it's in the way of the seam. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you see our weld is here in red. Uh -huh. And uh, obviously the phone occludes the weld and yeah. uh, the system won't let us weld it. So this orange bit, that's the phone zone. Yeah, yeah. right. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change the, the length of this weld. Mm -hmm. And the phone uh, won't occlude the weld anymore and we can basically weld yeah. it. So let me do it. I select the, the seam. Uh, I can add an offset from the seam end. So mm -hmm. let's do, I don't know. 100 millimeters. Now you see the weld is shorter and this zone uh, is not including the, the, the weld. Uh, I can save. 
go again here. Now it's ready. And I can start. It's cutting the wire for touch sensing mm -hmm. and it's gonna touch and not uh, touch mm -hmm. the phone. Great. See, it avoids both the clamp and the phone. So. I admire your confidence. <laughs> <laughs> will it stop? Will it stop? Oh! oh. I'm not bad, Jay. Mm. That's it. Nice. So we can put even more objects in there if you want. All right, let's go for it. Um, yeah, we're gonna put a phone. phone. How about this little guy? Ooh. You can put him yourself. Yeah. Hello, little teddy. He won't weld you. <laughs> I uh, hope. Something more? You can do a cup. Uh, oh, big thing. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's put it here. No, in this way we won't see teddy bear, right? So let's put it here. Uh, okay, let's try it again. Yeah, I just reset the scanning data with the head. Uh, do a reachability check. So in our virtual uh, cell, the sim is reachable. We just add it to cell and start scanning. Now it's from this side, you see? It's mm. always from different sides, so mm. it's dynamic, adapts for, uh, for the scene. And... Okay, here's the result. Ah. Oh, the little teddy. Yeah, here's your little teddy bear. <laughs> my phone, yeah. my cup, uh -huh. all scanned, and the, the clamp, all of right. course. And um, just once again, uh, the dark green and the red, what's the difference? Uh, dark green is the meshing of the obstacle that we see, and the red is just the, the points, the, the raw data from the camera. Okay, so uh, the, right. the dark green, yeah. the, the, actually this is cyan. So uh -huh. the cyan is uh, the result of our processing algorithms, yeah. and the red points is the, just the raw data. Uh -huh. Cool. Yeah. And the bright green, that's and, all, um, that's good. Yeah, that's right good. Green, that's yeah. good. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it's really easy f to to use this because we teach the operators of our clients, uh -huh. uh, guys who operate these cells that yeah. works uh, with the budget software. Uh, it, it, very simple rule: uh, if you if there is a lot of green yeah. and uh, not much red, it's okay. You can confirm. Dark green. No, a no, lot, yeah. a lot, a lot of if, 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 okay. if, it's, if, if it's a lot of light green, yeah. it means that the distance from the points uh, to the yeah, yeah, to yeah. the object is uh, around zero. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, a lot of red, it means mm -hmm. that the distance is uh, more than 14 millimeters, mm -hmm. and it's not that good because the uh, th the part is not positioned really well. Mm -hmm. But it happens really seldom. Okay. But the decision is uh, by the operator. We can again open it. See that this weld is not reachable. Yeah. Make it shorter, uh -huh. like we did last time. Uh, 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 from end. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it 120 this time. Uh, save. Yeah. Now it's ready. We can start it. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go and see again. It's really close to, yeah. to, to a friend. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but it avoids. Does not collide. How is it so precise or accurate? Because of our algorithms. Okay. Well, and the robot itself is uh, precise too. His uh -huh. car is a good robot. Yeah. See, it's really close to the, yeah. to the clamp, but it still does not collide. Okay. Oh, it's a dry run. And uh -huh. you see the... Um, it's really, really precise. So yeah. we, we can get just directly into the seam, into the welding. So right now the welding mode is disabled, but what it just did there yeah, is it's show it. how it would weld yes. if, um, yeah, if we were yeah, exactly. actually doing the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And, uh, yeah, this is... Ooh. My D and my phone, <laughs> everything works. It's great. Teddy. And you're a teddy bear. Are you happy? <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> Thanks for sticking to the end. We'll be posting regularly, so subscribe. Stick some comments if you like about what you saw today. And we'll be back with more robotic welding innovations.